हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर सेवन ऑन सेट थियोरी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस सम मोर बेसिक ऑपरेशंस ऑन सेट्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन इज डिफरेंस ऑफ टू सेट्स सो सपोज आई हैव टू सेट्स ए एंड बी एंड इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डिफाइन डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस टू सेट्स देन डिफरेंस इज डिनोटेड बाई ए माइनस बी एंड इज डिफाइंड एज those elements which are present in a and they are not present in b the set of elements which are present in a and absent in b is nothing but difference of a and b it is denoted by a minus b sometimes uh, this uh, operation is known as relative complement of b in set a or relative complement of b with respect to set a because we are taking difference of b from a so this is sometimes known as relative complement of b with respect to a if i consider b minus a then this is nothing but relative complement of a with respect to b so here we have written the definition difference of sets or relative complement let a and b be any two sets the difference of a and b or relative complement of b in a is denoted by a minus b and is this set consisting of all elements of a which are not elements of b that means we consider those elements which are present in a and absent in b so this is always subset of set a because we no it is not always subset of set a because we will not write those elements which are present in a and b also so this a minus b is this set which consist of all elements of a we are considering those elements of a which are not elements of b so we are not taking all the elements of a but here we can say that uh, this set consist of elements of a so yes it is correct that a minus b is subset of a because by the definition we are taking x such that x belongs to a and x is not in b so whenever i take any member of a minus b it is a member of a so every member of a minus b is also a member of a so this set is always subset of a we consider one example suppose set a has three elements 1 3 5 set b has three elements 1 2 3 now a minus b is we concentrate on those elements in a which are absent in b so we start with first element first element is 1 so we check whether 1 is present in b or not so here 1 is present in b also so we will not consider 1 then we consider 3 so 3 is present in b so we have not taken 3 and 5 is present in a but it is not present in b so a minus b is this set having only one element 5 and we can see this is subset of a now we write down b minus a so we start with set b we write down those elements of b which are not present in a so first element is 1 1 is present in a so we will not write 1 second element is 2 2 is present in b but 2 is not present in a so we write down 2 3 is present in b as well as in a so we will not consider 3 so b minus a is also singleton set containing only one element and we can see b minus a is subset of b so this is always true a minus b is always subset of a and if we consider b minus a it is subset of b if we consider say r minus s then this is always subset of r because r minus s is this set which contains 
those elements of R which are not elements of S. So A minus B is always subset of A. Now A minus B is also known as relative complement of B with respect to A. If I consider say another C minus D then this is known as difference of C and D and it is also known as relative complement of D with respect to C. Now suppose we consider universal set say U, U is the universal set and A is any set. Then if we consider difference of universal set and set A, then this is nothing but relative complement of set A with respect to universal set. So if we consider main set as universal set, then this, this relative complement is known as absolute complement of set A or simply complement of set A u minus a means if we are considering reference as universal set then u minus a is the difference of universal set and a and it is known as relative complement of set a with respect to u and this is given special name it is known as absolute complement of set a or simply it is known as complement of a set so for complement of a set we will consider universal set let u be the universal set for any set a the relative complement of a with respect to u that is u minus a is called the absolute complement of a and the absolute complement of a set a is often called the complement of A. So whenever we are considering complement of a set, we are considering its difference from universal set. And this uh, this is denoted by different notations A bar or A dash A complement or we can simply write U minus A. So we will remember all these notations. Some authors use this notation also for complement. So complement of A is those elements of the universal set which are not present in A. So the elements of complement of A are those elements which are not present in A but they are present in universal set. So we can simply write complement of A bar equal to X such that X is not in A. So these are different properties complement of complement of A equal to A then complement of empty set is universal set okay, these are all obvious properties uh, complement of universal set is empty set if we consider union of set A with its complement we will obtain universal set. Similarly, if we consider intersection of A with its complement, we will have phi. Okay, so uh, we will remember these properties. The, we are already familiar with these properties. This is just the revision from school level. So now we consider uh, one simple exercise which is related to these operations. Here we are asked to show that difference of A and B equal to intersection of A and B complement and in part B we have to show that if A is subset of B then complement of B is subset of complement of A and vice versa. So first we try to prove part A. Uh, we want to prove that A minus B equal to A intersection B bar or B complement. So we can directly start with the definition. Suppose we consider a minus b then a minus b is the set of those elements of a which are not in b now by the definition of complement uh, if x is not in b then x is in b bar because b bar means complement of b is the set of those elements which are not present in B.
so here we can write if x is not in b then x must be in b bar so here now we can see uh, that uh, here this is this set is nothing but intersection of a and b complement intersection of a and b bar means those x which are present in a as well as in b bar so this is easily proved difference of a and b is nothing but intersection of a and b bar similarly uh, we can uh, write that if we consider difference of b and a then here we have b intersection a bar so this is very useful property we will use this frequently whenever we go further okay now second part is a subset b implies b complement subset of a complement and a com b complement subset of a complement implies a subset b so now we try to prove this part b first we write down what we want to show we want to prove that a subset of b implies b bar is subset of a bar and b bar is subset of a bar implies a subset b let me check again okay a subset b if and only if complement of b is subset of complement of a so we will prove one by one first we assume this statement and we prove that this is true and then we assume that if this holds then this is also true so first we suppose that a is subset of b and we have to show that b complement is subset of a complement to prove that b complement is subset of a complement so we start by taking any element in b complement x is in b complement implies x is not in b now our assumption is a is subset of b so b is bigger set than a so if x is not in b then x cannot be in a because a is subset of b if x is not in bigger set here then it cannot be in set a so this implies x is in the complement of a so we started by taking x in b complement and we showed that x is in a complement and x is arbitrary element therefore b complement is subset of a complement now we assume that b complement is subset of a complement and we show that a is subset of b so conversely assume that b bar or complement of b is subset of complement of a and uh, to prove that a is a subset of b in first part we assume that a is subset of b and we show that complement of b is subset of complement of a now we are going in reverse way we assume that complement of b is subset of complement of a and we show that a is subset of b so we start by taking x in capital a and we will show that x is in b also now if x is in capital a then x cannot be in its complement because complement of a is that set in which we consider those elements which are not present in a so if x is in a x cannot be present in a complement now here we have assumed that b complement is subset of a complement now x is not in a complement so x cannot be in b complement because b complement is subset of a complement so we are using what we have assumed if x is not in bigger set it cannot be in smaller set now if x is not in b complement that means x must be in set b because b bar is the set of those elements which are 
absent in B. So x is not in B bar. That means x must be in B. So we started by taking x in A and we show that x is in B. Therefore, A is subset of B. So we have proved our statement on both sides. So finally, uh, we have shown that A is subset of B implies B complement is subset of A complement and B complement is subset of A complement implies A is subset of B. Okay, so in this way, if we are familiar with some uh, properties of set operations, then we can easily do this type of exercise. So this is all about this lecture. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.